Hey guys, this is Dan O at Hidden Bigfoot Laboratories. And uh, I just wanted to do a, a quick video on a project I'm about to put together. I wanted to show you. Um, what I want to do is outside, I got a lamp that I need to be on at night so that I can see in the yard without slipping in the mud. We've had a lot of rain le recently. And uh, so what I did was I bought a automatic wire in light control. And uh, let me show you. Let me show you some about it. Right here's the the switch that I got a wire in, and then right there's the photo cell sensor. but uh it's it's a pretty easy easy to work with it's made by hampton bay i i paid like between five and ten dollars i think it ran right about seven fifty to eight fifty but uh the little cellophane popped off and i lost it but um what it does is it it turns off at dawn and it um turns on at dusk it's a uh, this this here is a replacement dust to dawn photo cell and it says it can be used as a replacement or add a dust to dawn feature to existing lanterns and uh, since I have that lamp out there what it is is a clip on lamp with uh, with um, a heat lamp in it going to my rabbits or really want my my girlfriend's rabbits but I don't want them eating up the power bill when I don't need them and uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wire a whole new plug and I wish I had an outdoor plug but I don't right now I may upgrade later so instead I'm gonna let me turn my camera I got a piece of this bamboo which is maybe I can show you the length it's probably about two foot long I'll show you after I get it assembled I don't want to mess up my angle and then uh, and my camper that I bought for my for my tiny home project they had a um, they had a fluorescent light hung on the wall that was wired to this this cord here and uh, I'm gonna I'm going to attach this box to the top of this pole and then drive it into the ground with the cord coming out the bottom. And I'll have that uh, photo cell attached out the bottom of the box somewhere in here behind the switch. And uh, I was reading the directions and it said that it just takes a 3 8 drill bit and uh, you poke it through the hole, you unscrew it, and you see there's two, they're like uh, felt washers. They they make sure and seal the box off whenever I buy an outdoor receptacle box that'll be a lot better and I'll be able to seal it all nice and good but um alright guys I'm gonna assemble this real quick and uh, if anyone needs a video on how it's put together just ask me and I'll do another video but uh, I'm just gonna otherwise until then I'm just gonna assemble this and then I'll just show you how it's all put together 
and then I'll I'll make sure we'll we'll test it, make sure it works, and uh, we'll just go from there. So all right, give me a second with this, guys. Okay, I was looking at this, and I've decided what I want to do is I want to make sure I'm going to have plenty of room to put in my sensor and uh, I think I'm going to be able to to put this here and that sensor's plastic so I don't have to worry about it it hitting anything and well that won't matter that's a neutral plate but okay and I think instead of uh, popping these two the, these two um, holes for wires to pop through what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Dremel and I'm on the I'm gonna have it as this the top, this the bottom, and I'm gonna cut this whole slit, this whole centerpiece off with my Dremel, and then I'm gonna take this piece of bamboo here, and I'm gonna stick it all the way through on the back of it, and uh, then I'll be able to stick it into the ground. And uh, if it does get rained on, um, it'll be able, since I got a bit, I'll have a big hole drilled in the bottom of it, it'll be able to drain out the bottom. So, all right, let me get that. Oh, and I wanted to, oh, oh, and I wanted to say, a lot of you guys may say something about this is um, an awful small cord to be hooked into a plug in. Um, I know that, but I'm only going to be running CFL light bulbs and, if anything, a 60 watt heat lamp. If in that, I don't even think I'd be that high. But uh, I'll check the heat of the wire, and um, as long as it's not getting hot and the bulbs aren't acting strange, then I I don't see this problem with it. But all right, guys, give me a second to get the Dremel out, and I'll get this cut. <laughs> 